Let's suppose that we wanted to solve a quadratic by factoring, meaning solve for its roots, solve for where m of x equals 0 by factoring. So m of x in its standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c, is negative 6x squared minus 27x plus 15. Now, how do you factor it? We've done that in other videos. I expect you to be able to do that. Otherwise, you need to go and brush up on how to factor a quadratic. That's on you. This quadratic, when factored, has a greatest common factor of negative 3. Notice the greatest common factor does not have an x in it because 15 does not have an x. So we cannot divide each term evenly by x. And then what remains is two other factors, 2x minus 1 and x plus 5. Now to solve for the roots, it is just so simple. We set the function equal to 0. So we'll say 0 equals negative 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 5. Easy enough. Now we use something called the zero product property. And all the zero product property says is that anything times zero equals zero. So if we could get this factor equal to zero, then we would have something times something times zero equals zero. The whole thing would equal zero. We would find a root. Now obviously we cannot get negative three equal to zero. But we can get this factor equal to zero, and we can get this factor equal to zero. So just to, for the sake of habit, we will say each factor equal to zero, except on this one we'll remind ourselves that this is impossible. But with these ones we can do it. 2x minus 1 equals zero, and x plus 5 equals zero. Now, solve for the x's that make this true. This is very easy. Add 1 to both sides and get 2x equals 1. Divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 1 half which of course is the same as x equals 0 0.5. Now set the x plus 5 factor equal to 0, subtract 5 from both sides and get x equals negative 5. And both of these are roots. Now if we want to think about what this would look like as a sketch, we should start out with our original function negative 6x squared minus 27x plus 15, and say, well, we can see that because the a value is negative, then this is a quadratic that opens downward. And it has roots at, well, the root on the left is x equal negative 5. And the root on the right is x equals 0 0.5, or 1 half. Which means, where would the y-axis be? The y-axis would be right about here. It should actually be a little bit farther right, but that's okay. You can see that you have one root that is on the right of the y-axis, where x is positive, and one root on the left of the x-axis, where x is negative. Remind yourself that this line is y equals 0, this line is x equals 0, and let's highlight those roots in color. So x equal negative 5, that's this root, x equal positive 1 half, that is this root. And you have solved for the roots of a quadratic. Good job!